mentality of the night, really just hit as hard as we could, show what we have, and give it all. Uh, what, did, what did you guys want to learn from yourselves in this game? Um, probably just little fundamental keys, and I don't know. I feel we're close as ever, like in any of the years I've ever played football, we're so close. But I don't know, just little fundamental stuff. Other than that, I think we're, we're pretty good. Uh, Coach Sox. And what was going on in that play? Tell me, describe it in your eyes. In my eyes, oh, I definitely heard, or I think they heard us play, but in my eyes, I saw a chance either. Our running back coaches always teach us, don't run sidelines, run straight through. And I listened to my coaches and ran straight through the guy. It was, it was a good play. Didn't know how it was going to go, but we were really smooth and we're really gelling. What's it like? Are you, do you feel you're ready for week one? Yes, I do. I think we're even going to get better this week, and it's going to be game time. Uh, I remember we came out to practice earlier, and you want to hear us play. Do you think they heard you tonight? Yeah, I do. <laughs> what do you what, speak to the running back court? Because it's maybe a little bit different than it has in years past. Uh, what, what dynamic do you guys bring to the field? Three, three to five yards every play. Can't stop it. Well, we learned that, you know, we got to play faster. We looked a little sloppy, and, you know, the conditions, conditions weren't the greatest, but that's not an excuse for us, and we got to just play faster and know, know our scheme and what we're doing just a little bit better. As a quarterback, obviously you can get something out of it, but with the ball that's going to be wet, you may get it in more. But how helpful is it to, to play with a wet ball and a scrimmage? You know, I mean, it, it is what it is, but we've been playing with it a lot all week, and, you know, it's going to be slippery. It's going to be tough to catch, and we just got to do what we can do and not, try not to make an excuse too much. Uh, what do you guys, how ready do you feel for week one? Um, I feel very ready. I'm, I'm confident. I'm excited, and I think our offense is going to come out, and I think we're going to be fast, and I think we'll – give you guys a little better look at what we can really do in week one. I mean, it's, it's almost good that it doesn't happen in a week one you can learn this. What can you learn about a, week, a scrimmage like this that obviously you don't carry a loss over? Yeah, you know, I mean, I'd almost rather uh, look bad in a scrimmage than in game one and fix what we got to fix and uh, find the holes and what's what we're not doing very well. For all the whole, the whole summer, you know, I've been, I've very, been very pleased with Gavin Vogt, you know, and his ability to throw the football and the receiver core and, you know, and how they have played too. So, you know, that's something that we're going to be excited about, you know, when we can see them together as a whole group. But, uh, you know, overall, the senior class, you know, their togetherness and their tenacity and their love for the game. Uh, Gavin, talk to you about How much do you have to ramp up the speed for week one? Well, you know, every team within the SAC, you know, has speed, you know, and then, you know, that has to be a catalyst of ours as well. You know, we've got guys that can run, but we've got to play to a faster level than what we played tonight. You know, we've got to play more physical and we've got to play quicker than what we did. You know, it, it's a scrimmage. They know that, you know, and that's that's one of the downfalls to it. You know, there's a whole different look and a whole different feel on Friday night. You know, and I'm not justifying, but, you know, we're, we're excited about starting the season. Obviously, they're up front. Uh, Running the ball, I mean, how? What do you feel from the running game that you could, that the dynamic that you bring to the running game? Well, our offensive line has to perform at a higher level. You know, we've got to be more physical up front, from tackle to tackle. You know, we've got three guys that have experience, and they've got to play like they've got experience. And we've got to be more physical up front and and move a defensive line and control the line of scrimmage. You know, because we're going to have to run the football. You know, you know, it can't be Gavin throwing it at every down. It can't be Gavin running it at every down. You know.